Hey everyone, I just encountered a little quirk in working with service workers and thought I'd pass along what the, I think the, the reality is. Now if you're not familiar with service workers, uh, I do recommend you um, go check out our course on uh, service workers. We've got three available right now, including an intro to service workers, a service worker caching, and a service worker lifecycle course. And especially in that service worker lifecycle course, we're, we um, I talk a little bit about uh, controllers um, as they relate to service workers. And I'm trying to post a message, which is a way to communicate between the UI thread and the service worker thread. And I won't go into the details of that, but basically that uncovered an issue that was a little funny to me. And I got to looking into it, and I think I've figured out what the issue is. Now, if you look at my code here, I'm trying to access the service worker controller here in the client side script. This is this would be the normal JavaScript that you're used to writing. And where this is getting act, uh, accessed is I'm going through the registration process, which you go through every single time a page is loaded. But if the service worker is already registered and active, then the promise, get it, then the promise, um, is going to return a reference to the registration, and that registration is going to have a flag called active, and that will be set to true. And basically, this means that your service worker is already installed and running and should be in control of the page that you are on. Um, and then what I'm doing is I'm actually uh, posting a message back to the service worker because I'm trying to trigger um, some activity to keep my pre-cached URLs up to date. Now, the problem is um, I, was, I was finding out that the controller was null. And that was, that was like, hmm, why is that null? Because if the service worker is active, it should have a controller because the controller should be running things. But I figured out what the problem was. But let's look at the error first. So I'm in Chrome, the latest version. I'm not even sure what it is anymore. It doesn't really matter with the uh, service workers because they've been out for a while in Chrome. But you'll see something like service worker register. Well, this is service worker registration failed because this is the message that I'm sending here in the catch. And the error message is getting dropped because this is failing here. Okay, so just kind of wanna, um, want you to understand the chain of messaging here. And here is the actual error, type error cannot read property post message of null. And in this case, null would be referring to the controller object. So basically, um, what the browser is telling me is it couldn't actually execute that, that method because that method doesn't actually exist on null because the controller is equal to null and not the normal controller object. Good. Glad you got that. Um, so basically, I had to do a little troubleshooting. Now, if you go and look at the actual spec, I think, it's, I think that here's a clue. Um, the service worker controller returns null if the request is a force refreshed, which means you hit shift refresh. Now, um, this is a hard refresh, and this is built into the service worker um, specification. If you say do a control shift refresh, for example, or whatever, just do that hard refresh in your browser, it's going to bypass the service worker. And so basically you're going to be running without the service worker. It's kind of a kind of an interesting little uh, quirk to the spec that you do need to be aware of when you're developing with service workers. Because a lot of times if you're a developer, you probably have a built-in habit of hitting that hard refresh because you're trying to bypass local cache. And this that's a little way that they kind of built in to allow people to kind of break out of something that was broken in maybe a service worker or even with the developer uh, world. And that's another reason why we also have the local host um, um, relaxation, if you will, uh, to some of the requirements too. So let's keep reading. The service worker objects returned from this attribute uh, getter represent the service worker in the same object. Okay, but let's go back to this. This shift refresh, this force shift refresh. Okay, um, A, I was doing that a lot, but B, I also remembered if I go over to the Chrome developer tools, and we go over to the application and the service worker choice here. Notice I've got a uh, bypass for network and stuff like this set up. I think it might be a combination of one, one, two, or both of these choices, this bypass 
for network and also the update on the reload because basically I am in developer mode. Um, this is the way I've got my environment configured and I think for the, this is why. And I think if I uncheck the bypass and I just do a normal refresh, which would be just F5, there we go. That looked a little better. And oh, well, we aren't there yet. So let's step into it. Let's see what happens this time. And literally, I haven't checked this out yet. Ah, we do have a we do have a controller, so we should be good. And if I go back over here, we'll see what those errors are. Those errors are something else completely, um, which is good because I'm actually in the middle of troubleshooting some service worker things as I'm adding some new functionality to one. So. I believe that is where our issue is. Now, let's just double check. I got the update. Let's do the bypass on network. And let's do an F5 here and see if we get the same thing. Okay, so I just did an F5, but I also had the bypass for network checked. So basically, that's almost that's pretty much mimicking the, the hard refresh, which is what I thought. Okay, so if you're seeing that error, um, go check to see if you have bypass for network or check your muscle memory and see if you did a hard refresh or not, because I think that's, that's where you're going to encounter this issue. And so hopefully this will help you troubleshoot um, the issue with having um, something like this cannot read a property of, of the service worker controller that you may be looking for. Most likely, um, like in this case, the controller doesn't exist because the service worker is not actually in control of the page. So just keep that in mind and uh, hopefully it'll help you from wasting time in your valuable development cycles. It's Chris Love, and remember, we do have several courses on service workers available on our Academy site. That's academy.lovetodev.com. We'd love for you to sign up and take the courses. And, of course, give us lots of feedback on that as well. And we appreciate it. Thanks a lot.